Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about one more problem from Lead Code on the interview series I've been working on from Lead Code. So the problem name is to sum. The problem statement is uh, relatively very simple. It says that you are given an array of integers, nums, as well as integer target. Now return the indexes of two numbers such that they add up to the target. Now, if you may assume that in, in the input exactly one of the solutions exists and you may not use the same element twice. Fine. So the simple terms says that you have to find out a pair of elements from this given array such that the sum of both of those elements should be equal to target. The other condition is that both the elements should not be same and there exists only one solution. So you have to just print out those indexes. Now, because as you can see that, that the length of this end bar four, so it's not beneficial to do this in a very brute force way that for every two pairs or like every two elements, you form a pair and check that whether it's sum is equal to target. That is a brute force way, but we can optimize that using maps. Now how you can use or using hashing, actually you are using like eventually hashing, but yeah, maps is helpful in that scenario, but how are we actually doing this? Let us move on to the drawing board. So it will become more clear to you. Let us take a random array or let us take the first array itself. Let us take uh, this array that is two, seven, 11, 15. So two, seven, 11 and 15. So these are the numbers we have in the array and we want to target equal to let's say nine. Okay. Now what we'll do here is that we cannot do this in O of n square. So let us try to do this in O of n log n. And that can be pretty simple. You, you can do this in O of n also. Okay, you can do this in O of n also, I'll tell you how. But for that O of n space is also required. In this also O of n space is required, but yeah. Now how we'll, we will try to do, do this is that we will iterate over from left to right in this map. And we will create a map. You can assume that map is some sort of a store. Okay, that will store what all elements we have seen till now. So because the store is empty, you have not seen any element till now. Okay, you will iterate over and you will see that, okay, the current element I am on is two and the target I want is nine. Okay. So if I have two, the, because I want a total sum of the two elements to be nine, I am on two. If I have seen an element seven already, then we can form those two as a pair and uh, like print out our answer. Fine. But so we will check in the store we have. Have we seen seven before? Because this map will tell us what all elements we have seen before. So map will tell me I haven't seen any seven before. So move ahead. So what you'll do here is that because you haven't seen any seven before, like this will not form a possible pair. But what you will do here is that because you have seen two now, so you will push two in the map, like in the store, whatever you can say. So you have pushed two that I have seen two now. Okay. Now you will move to seven. Now, because you have, you are on seven and you want a total target of nine, what more elements you require? You require a two. So you will check that. Okay. Whether there's a two in the store. Yes. So there's a two in the store, which means that I have seen already two. So with two, I can also store at what index I have seen this. So let's say I have seen this in at index zero. So you can easily see that, okay, I have seen at index two, like I've seen in two at index zero and the seven is at index one. So the answer is zero comma one. Zero comma one. Okay. That's the whole solution. And as you can see that zero comma one is answer. Maybe let's say that you want a total sum of 17. Okay. So you have stored two. So you are on seven and you want a total sum of 17. So you might be asking the total store is that I am on seven. And I want a total sum of 17. So what more number I want? I want 10. So I have seen 10 till now. No. So, okay. So still I will moving forward and I will push this particular number seven inside the store. So the number will be stored now seven. Then it will store 11 because then this is also not, uh, we have seen that. Then we move to 15. When we are 15, then we'll again ask that I want 15. I want a total target of 17. So what more number I required to get a total target of 17? I have, I'm on 15. If I add two to it, then it will become 70. So I just want two more number, like a number that, that is two. So I will check in the store that whether I've seen two, yes, two is already seen. So which means that I can form a pair of this number and whatever index two is present. So two is present at zero. So I will just form the pair of that. That is overall logic we are using. And because we are searching in the map, 
map can like do a certain operation in O of log n. That is why it is n log n. Okay, instead of using a map, you can also use a sequence of array to store out what all numbers you have seen at n at what index. In that case, more space is required. Okay, because you are storing out for all the unnecessary numbers also that are not there. In map, you are only storing out for the particular numbers, but the overall uh, other, like the benefit of that is that if you're using an array instead of map, array will give you a total checkup, like a lookup time of O of one. Instead of map, that will that will give you a lookup time of O of log n. So you can increase the time complexity of O of n also instead of O of n log n, but it's depend upon the time complexity and the space complexity you required. Fine, so what I've done here is that I've made total length n, then I've made a map. So you can use an unordered map also to move further more increase the time complexity, like so that it will run more faster. And you have made a map of integer to integers, so that a portal number is seen at which index. So that is map. You'll iterate over every map. So what you'll do is that you will check that, okay, I am on the ith number. What other number I want? I want target minus nums of i. So if I'm on nums of i, the other number I want is target minus nums of i. If if I have already seen this target minus of nums of i in map, how I can check that? I will count out whether this particular number is present inside the map. This is this is used to check whether the particular number is present inside the map. If it is already present inside the map, what my answer is? My answer is whatever is the index that particular number is present. So this will help me to get the index and the current index I'm on. So we want two index. The current index because I'm the number of, because I'm on that particular number as well as the number of the index that we have seen earlier. So we can get this using this map. So that is all you can return of this particular pair. Else, this is not forming out any pair. This particular, uh, like the other part of this, like target minus nums of i is not present inside the map. So what you'll do, you will push the current number. So nums of i inside the map and you will store nums of i map mapped to the particular index it is present at. So the particular number is present at this particular index so that you can use this. In the end, if you cannot find such answer, you can return minus one, minus one. But I don't think so that uh, that case will actually happen here because there's exactly one answer. But still, uh, you can return minus one, minus one if you haven't seen any particular answer. So that's the overall logic and code part for this problem. This time complexity, value time complexity for this runtime, for this particular code is O of n log n, but you can like increase it for the more. I use unordered map, so it will become like O of n only because unordered map will have a lookup time of O of one. Uh, but yeah, you can like, if you're using map, it is n log n only. Okay. So that's the overall time complexity and speed complexity for this problem. Thank you for watching this video till the end. I will see you in this one. Thank you. Keep coding and bye.